This is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. I am going to take you through an installation today for Elements on a Mac. You're going to get a download link immediately after your purchase is completed. You can download right from there. It'll go to your machine. Usually it goes to your downloads folder. Um, sometimes uh, it depends on what, where your browser is set to. Sometimes it can go to the desktop. Wherever your downloads are usually stored is where your file will end up. It's a zipped file, which means it's compressed, and I believe that most Macs now have uh, automatic unzipping software, so you just double-click on it, and it will automatically unzip it for you. If you do have any troubles uh, unzipping it, a, a good program that you can download for free is Yemuzip, Y-E-M-U-Zip, and you can just do a Google search for that, and that's a free download application to unzip or uncompress the, the zip files. So after you get it unzipped on your machine, we're going to go to the photo effects folder and the number one thing you want to remember uh, when finding the photo effects folder on a Mac is you um, need to select your Macintosh hard drive not your user library so we're going to go to our hard drive here you do not want to find your library from your your user library so that would be the little house icon with whatever your name is uh, for, for your user you want to select the hard drive here and then you find your library and I'm gonna open this up so you can see the steps I'm taking here to get to where we're going so you select the library and from there you select application support and next you select Adobe and from there we go down to Photoshop Elements and whatever version number you are using that's the folder you're going to choose I'm using 9 I'll select 9 and then we're going to find the photo creations folder and photo effects and this is where our action files are going to go our action files are the ATN and PNG files and XML most of them have XML files now included and uh, those are the only three types of uh, files that you should be putting into your photo effects folder. If you have anything else in there, uh, terms of use, uh, PDF files, other instructional type files, anything else besides those three types, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be placing in there yourself. Uh, it will create thumbnail JPEGs, and that's fine. Elements does that. But uh, you, you shouldn't be placing anything else in there. So if you have other things in there, uh, get them out of there. And so this is where we're going to be placing our actions. So go to where your actions were downloaded to and you have your file unzipped so you can see the action files inside the folder. And so uh, this is our folder full of action files. We're going to just select all of these. I'm going to do a select all. And again, make sure you just have the ATN, XML, and PNG files. If there's any PDFs in there or um, other files that are, you know, terms of use, other things that are included with your download, do not copy those in there. And just do a copy, just like if you were copying text. Go back to your photo effects folder and do a paste. And just going to copy all of those over there. And that's it for that part. And now we are going to delete the media database db3 file and all we need to do is go back through this pathway here to this locale and ENUS folder so it's in the same pathway we get to our 9 folder we go to the locale and the ENUS folder and then find the media database and you can either delete that I just usually delete it because I feel pretty safe doing that because it rebuilds it from what you've got in your photo effects folder um, or you can just rename it if you feel safer doing that and just add anything you want to the end. Media database old is fine. Um, after you restart elements and everything is there like it should be, you can go ahead and get rid of the old one if you want. Before we start elements back up, I'm going to show you what I have here to make my installation process easier instead of going through all these steps to get to the folder I want every time. I have uh, shortcuts in my sidebar here for the photo effects and the ENUS folder. So I can click on photo effects to copy my new actions into there. And I can click on ENUS to delete the media database file each time I put new actions in. Every time you put new actions in to your photo effects folder, you're going to want to delete that file to make sure that it sees the new actions. And so the way you create a little shortcut in your sidebar is 
just take the folder that you want to be the, over there, drag it over, and drop it. And then we've got our photo effects folder right there. So each time you add new actions, it's a lot easier just to click on that and copy them in straight in there. And so now we just restart Elements, and Elements is going to come back up, and it's going to tell us that it's rebuilding the contents and effects. And it may take quite a while to do this. The important thing is not to touch it until it's all finished. It may look like it's become unresponsive, but it's still working. And if we touch it too soon and interrupt the process, it will appear that we have no actions at all. And I get a lot of panicked emails every day from people saying they restarted and all of their actions disappeared. And all you need to do if that happens is go back and rename or delete that media database file once again and restart and this time just let it do its thing. It can take quite a while sometimes. Uh, I just did an installation on a PC and it it's, it's actually still going. It's taking quite a long time, up to 20 minutes sometime. Um, usually it's just a few minutes. So uh, it's going to do its thing there and just be patient. I, it's best probably just to leave your computer alone while it's doing it completely. And there it's just finishing. And you can see it's still, even though the message has disappeared, it's still kind of trying to work. Nothing has popped back up yet. I can't kind of just keep an eye over here on my effect palette. There we go. And so you want to um, be in an edit over here full. You want to click on the little icon here with the sparkles around it, the third one over. And right here you're going to have a drop down menu. And I just cleared out my my folder, so I've got nothing in here but the one we just installed. But I have um, Paint the Moon Fresh Wonderland 2 in there, and that's going to be the only set that we're looking at uh, when we click on that. You can do a show all, and that'll show you all the actions that you have in your effects palette. And uh, some of the older sets don't yet have XML files, but they are coming, and it's going to be a free update for everybody. Uh, if they do not have XML files, you have to do the show all to see those, those sets, and so you have to look at them all together. The ones that do have XML files uh, will be like this is here, where you can click the individual set and look at the individual sets only. Uh, if you see black boxes in your effects palette... Um, it can be caused by several different things. It could be an action file that is uh, floating around in the photo effects folder by itself without a thumbnail. Um, and the thumbnails is usually your PNG file. If you click on one of those actions and it doesn't have the thumbnail, it'll usually run fine, um, but you won't have the thumbnail to look at. And um, it also can happen if you have a, a file in there that should not belong in there and it will give you an error obviously if you have an like a PDF file or something like that in there um, you want to go check you can hover over the top of what it is and see the little uh, name pop up and it'll tell you exactly what file you're looking at if it's a black box and go delete that if it doesn't belong there and get rid of that media database file again and restart and those should disappear for you. Again, the most common error with uh, installing on a Mac is not starting your installation path on the Mac hard drive icon. And a lot of people try to find the library in their user library, and you need to start on the Mac hard drive to find the main library. So that's it for a Mac installation. It's pretty simple. There are, there are a couple hiccups that could happen, like I explained, if you interrupt it too soon and uh, it starts up a after being interrupted with the rebuilding of the media database files, then you can appear to have no actions in there. The solution to that is to delete that, that database file again, the media database DB3 file, and restart and leave it alone. And it can take quite a long time sometimes, usually not, but sometimes it can, um, until you see everything pop back up here. Uh, just leave it be. And the other hiccup is uh, if you have black boxes in here, and that usually means uh, you either don't have a thumbnail for the action in there, the PNG file, or if the thumbnail um, PNG does not match the name exactly of the action, then that can happen. And if you have files that should not belong in the photo effects folder, get them out of there and delete that file again, that media database file again, and restart. 
and um, and that's that that's pretty much it. That there's not a lot of hiccups to mention here with with Mac installations. So, hopefully that helps some of you out there. If you have any questions, um, take a look at the provided materials in your download. There's tips and tricks. There's information on layer masks, and we have a ton of more videos with more information on our video channel as well. Thank you so much, and enjoy your actions, and have a wonderful day.